Okay, guys. In some boats, when you enter in the engine room and you see the central hydraulic unit, you see those elements. Oh, the first one is for pasarela. The second one is for bow thruster. The third one is for, yeah, you have tam a tandem of those organized in a rack, no? With one pump, one reservoir, and one motor. This is the central hydraulic unit. And uh, in some of them, you see the solenoids in each side, and also, and also, you see one handle, like this, one handle. What is the function of those handles? Oh, if the solenoids are not working because the switch is broken or something like this, the captain say to the engineer, hey, my friend, the windlass goes down but not up. And you go in the engine room and you select, ah, the third one is the uh, windlass. And with your hand, mm -hmm. you activate up or down, you know, because the solenoid is, is broken. In an automatic transmission, and also in the marine, you have a lot of hydraulic circuits moving in different directions for different purposes. One circuit for forward, other circuit for reverse, other circuit for neutral, other circuit for, yeah, different circuits moving in, in, the, in the automotive transmission. One circuit for first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, other for reverse. In marine transmission, you have three circuits. One for forward, one for reverse, and other for neutral. That's it, finito, bingo. Yeah, this is the, the main, main difference between the marine transmission and the automotive, uh, automatic transmission, yeah? But uh, all of those circuits are controlled for solenoids. And in the automatic transmissions, the fluid in this labyrinth is moving like this for forward, or like this for reverse, or like this for, for gear, turkey, it's, it's, it's too complicated. And you have one solenoid for forward, other solenoids for reverse, other for third, other for fourth, yeah? A lot of solenoids around this element. What is the name of that element in Drum the automatic body. transmission? Ba valve body. The body of the valves. Nice, no? And each circuit is controlled for one, one solenoid. solenoid. One solenoid. This is why when you have a problem in your automatic transmission, and when you visit the dealer, they say the solenoid for third gear was damaged. For that reason, your transmission only passed for first to second and no more. Because the solenoid of third gear is broken or is a no moving. What is the name of this? Body of valves or valve body. Okay, let me explain something. Now it's clear that uh, those transmissions depend of the hydraulic fluid and uh, depend of different circuits, okay? And now we are going to start to check how with one circuit I can activate this selection of gears, this with this, or with other circuit here, I activate other, other selection of gears, other gear ratio, gear ratio number one, gear ratio number two, number three, number four, and reverse. Ah, depending on where is, is, is moving the fluid, activate this one. Or where is moving the fluid, activate this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. And that path depends on the body of valves, no? You see how thinner are those cavities? You know what happens if the oil is dirty oil? It's clogged. And suddenly you say, oh, I only have first gear, second, and reverse. I don't have three, four, and five. When they disassemble the oil pan, the oil is with a lot of carbon particles and a, and a friction material uh, suspended in the oil, indicating what? Well. That all of those cavities are clogged, you know? Now you understand why I recommend at the beginning of this, replace the oil in the transmission according with the intervals recommended by the manufacturer, but uh, unfortunately today, the manufacturer, they say automatic transmission, never, never do service. Never replace the oil. Why? They want that you buy a new car. This is the idea. But uh, the life of the any hydraulic circuit, especially, the, specifically, the automatic transmission, the life of that transmission depends on the quality of the oil. What is my recommendation? Maximum each 75,000 miles, flush the oil, replace the oil, and replace the filter. Mandatory. 
75,000. Each 75,000 maximum, I replace each 50. I replace the oil. Oh, Mr. Lopez, my transmission is completely closed. No feeding, no, no plug to drain the oil. Yes, you can do the plug. You can, you can drill, make a thread, and install a plug and drain the oil. They design with no plug to avoid that you flush the oil. I am going to create another wonderful picture uh, to explain how you change the, 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 the gear ratio in the automatic transmission and also in the marine transmission. You remember that, uh, that situation? 12 inches and this one 36 inches. What is the gear ratio? 3 to 1. 3 to 1. 12 inches and 36 inches. What is the gear ratio? 3 to 1. 3 to 1. It's basically the same gear ratio, no? But uh, what is the difference between this and this? More bolts so separation. 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 No? Ah, okay. What happened if I introduce... of the middle one Reverse. and now this one and this one are rotating in the same direction yes or no anybody follow me ah, okay pay attention <coughs> what happened if uh, this one in the middle I am going to create one mechanism to connect three of those separated 120 degrees And I am going to connect this one with this one and this one with one axis. This is the planetary system. And now I am going to play with this. Let me explain what is the meaning of that. Okay, we are going to create, this one is the blue one. And this one is the chaff of the blue one. Remember, what is the secret of this transmission? in comparison with the manual, to be concentric. Hollow. Hollow, chaff, and one chaff enter in the other one like a telescopic, no? Ah, okay, this is the chaff of the blue one. Pay attention, those are the green gears, and those gears engage with the blue one. And this one is attached with this, and is here, and is here, and this is the other chaff, one inside of the other one. And now I am going to create another one, for example here, external, that engage with this. And this is a third chaff, no? This is the color. Okay, at the end of the day, I have one orange chaff, other green chaff, other blue chaff, all of them, one inside of the other one and uh, they are independent. For example, in this one, the connection between this and this, in between the blue one, I have a, a small cavity here, and the fluid enter. What happens when the fluid compress this with this? Engage, no? And uh, what happens if I connect here one uh, servo band? and the servo band is connected here with a small actuator, like this, this servo band. Look at this, one chaff, mm -hmm. this one, and this one, okay, you see? This is a set of planetary gears. Those are the planets, this is the sun, and this is the ring. Mm -hmm. You know? The sun, the planets, and the ring. Okay. Depending what is not moving and what is the input, I have in the output high torque, low torque, high speed, low speed, or reverse. I can play, like I explained in the video, depending if I stop the planets and uh, the input is the ring, 
Oh, in the output, I have a four speed. Oh, if I stop the ring, the input is the sun, and the output at the planet is the second gear. If I stop the planet and the ring and that, yeah? Depending what I stop, normally in each set of planetary gears like this, I have two inputs and one output. Ah, okay, I have one planetary set for first gear and second gear. After that, the output of the first planetary is the input of the second one. And in the second one, I have third and fourth. Ah, in the second planetary set, the output of that planetary set is the input of the third one. In the third one, I have fire speed and reverse. For that reason, if you check this transmission, is a combination of uh, three planetary sets. One for first and second, other for two and three, and the other one for fourth and reverse, you know? And all of them, all of them, are together because the chaffs are concentric. 